Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to deriving some of the relationship for determination of shear angle in terms of the metal cutting operations. So just you can see the basic geometry of the metal cutting operations. So let us start. Here that will be our workpiece materials and our single point cutting tool SPCT is being used for cutting of that particular materials. So let us see our tool it will be in contact with the workpiece materials and by the application of the feed towards the left side and according to the given depth of cut of the cutting operations. So let us see according to that particularly requirement of the cutting operations that T1 from upper side of the workpiece to the this one end. So that will be as a depth of cut. Depth of cut or you can say T1. So according to that depth of cut our tool is being fed against the workpiece materials. So that is the tip of the tool materials. So that will be making a one kind of relationship. Let us see by the application of this feed force against the workpiece materials our cutting force that will be exceeded than the cohesive force into the workpiece materials. So our material of the workpiece is being cut. So according to that feed force our workpiece material it will be cut in the form of chips. So that will be the chips. So according to that thickness of the chips that will be after cutting. So that will be called to be a chip thickness and that will be T2 length. So according to their chips is being formed during the cutting operations this tip of the cutting tool it will be making an angle at that shear zone. So just you can see over here the tip of the tool to this that will be making a shear zone or you can say shear zone and that A to B it will be act as a shear plane and that shear plane it will be with the horizontal axis it will be making a shear angle phi. So just you can see here that will be the shear angle phi and that perpendicular distance onto that axis that will be AC. So just you can concentrate here ABC that will be making an angle. So that beta B angle that will be called to be a shear angle phi. On another side that shear plane that will be making a one perpendicular line to the that tool or you can say face of the tool and that face of the tool and that will be making a angle at vertical plane like this. So that will be the rack angle alpha. So just you can see this red color it will be indicating the angle or you can say rack angle. So this one is a rack angle and this 5 it will be called to be a shear angle. So in this theory determination of shear angle phi. So let us see from these figures we have the following details. T1 this one that will be the uncut chip thickness or you can say before experimentations that will be called to be a uncut chip thickness or you can say depth of cut and that will be the A to C. T2 this one so T2 is indicating as a cut chip thickness or you can say after the cutting operations that will be the thickness of the chips. So that will be A to D distance. Now third alpha so here that will be the alpha that will be the tool rack angle with the vertical plane so alpha that will be indicating as a rack angle 5 so just you can see the exactly the chip is being removed from the workpiece material 
with the tip of the tool so that will be making a one plane and just you can see the plane A to B that will be called to be a shear plane and that will be making an angle with the horizontal axis and it will be called to be a shear plane angle 5. Before starting the determination of shear angle let us see some of the assumptions are made into the orthogonal cuttings and first one the cutting tool is perfect sharp and contact the chip on its rack face so just you can see this one is our cutting tool and that will be having a perfect sharp teeth and contacts the chips so here that will be in contact with the chips on it rack face so that will be called to be a rack face and that rack face it will be making a angle with the vertical plane and that will be a rack angle so the first assumptions made for the determination of the shear angle so the all the tool materials perfectly sharp so that will be following all the geometry of the single point cutting tools and contacts the chips on its rack face so only rack face it will be in contact with the chip of the materials then second there is no slight flow of the chips so in the assumptions what the chips is only flowing onto the rack face that will be no any segmental parts it will be flowing from the another side or you can say flank of that particular single point cutting tools so that will be the one of the assumptions it will be for determination of the shear plane angle so all the chips it will be flowing only with contact with the rack face of the single point cutting tools that will be the second assumptions then third So the deformation takes place in a very thin zone which consider as a shear plane. So shear plane the actual chips is being from from the cutting action taken place from the tip of the tool. So this one A to B that will be the thin zone and it will be act as a shear plane. So according to that shear plane A to B so that will be making an angle shear angle 5 so this one is a thin zone and it will be act as a shear plane so that three basic assumptions for determination of the shear plane angle so just you can see the figure the shear angle 5 is defined as the angle made by shear plane so here shear plane that will be A to B with the direction of the tool travel so this one is the direction of the tool travel so that will be the horizontally travel so this one is a shear plane angle so as from the figure just you can see let us start with the derivation of the shear angle 5 so let us see the r that will be equal to cheap thickness ratio and that will be equal to T1 upon T2 cheap thickness ratio so now according to that triangle just you can see triangle ABC and triangle ABD so from the figure just you can see angle ABC that will be indicating as a 5 shear angle angle BAD so just you can see the 90 minus 90 minus 5 plus alpha so that will be from the trigonometric relationship just you can see and finally you will get 5 minus alpha now chip thickness ratio r is equal to t1 upon t2 so you can say uncut chip thickness or you can say depth of cut divided by cut chip thickness so that will be indicating as a ac upon ad now from the figure just you can use the relationship so ac that will be equal to ab sine theta phi divided by ab cos phi minus alpha 
Now simplify these equations and just you can see sin 5 divided by cos 5 minus alpha because that will be cancel out. Now simplify these equations and sin 5 divided by cos 5 cos alpha plus sin 5 into sin alpha. Simply apply the cos alpha minus beta relationship over here. Now simplify this. So just you can see this one is equal to r. So sin 5 that would be equal to r into cos 5 into cos alpha plus sin 5 into sin alpha. Now simplify this equation. So just you can change this sin 5 or you can say sin 5 it will be into lower side. So r into cos alpha divided by tan 5 because sin 5 upon cos 5 that will be tan 5 plus sin alpha because sin 5 sin 5 cancel out over here and that will be equal to 1. Now so r cos alpha divided by tan 5 equal to 1 minus r sin alpha. So finally you will get tan 5 equal to r cos alpha divided by 1 minus r into sin alpha. So that will be the relationship for determination of shear angle 5 in terms of the metal cutting operations. So I hope you understand. If you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you very much.